Hey everybody, we welcome you to Colony Hills Homestead again. Thank you for coming back. We want you to smash that subscribe button, like and share the video. Ring the bell's notification so that you can know when our next videos come out. Um, today we're going to talk about quail feed. I get the, uh, the same question a lot. What, what do I feed my quail? Well, it's according. It's according to their age. Um, when we're talking about chicks, I feed my quail a certain percentage of protein. Once they get to six weeks, I feed them a different percentage. So let's talk about those percentages. Quail need a higher percentage of protein than other birds, uh, like chickens, for instance. Um, quail, pheasants, turkeys, they all need a higher protein, okay? They're used to that in, in their normal um, environment. So you can buy these at your feed store. Um, if you're thinking about quail, and you probably are if you're watching this, you need to go ahead and source your feed before you get your quail because every feed store doesn't have exactly what you need. I was getting my feed from a store um, on my way to work um, a while back, and and that, that route of transport stopped, and now I found a feed store that's not even three or four minutes from the house, but it wasn't carrying the feed I need. So they ordered it for me, and I have it now, and it's exactly what I was using before. So quail chicks need approximately 28% protein feed. It's a grower starter feed. Some people um, use what is a turkey feed. That's, that's what a lot of feed stores will carry. That's perfectly fine. It's a small crumble. Uh, it's something that they can get. Now, as a matter of fact, when they're chicks up to about two weeks old, I take that small crumble and I hit it in a blender and I crumble it up even more. They need that, that type. Thank you, sister, for making your appearance on the camera. She always seems to do that. She hams it up. Boy, cat thinks it's a dog. But 28% for chicks. Chicks all the way up to about six to eight weeks. They reach maturity at that age. They're ready to lay at that age. So we switch down from a 28%, which is a little bit more expensive, to a 20% feed, which is a breeder layer feed. Works fine, just fine. That, that actually, that would be all you'd have to feed your quail. If you want to add some supplements, if you want to give them, in your opinion, some enjoyment of other foods and vegetables, fruits, that's great. We're going to talk about a few things you can give them, a few things that I give my quail that they enjoy, and we're going to talk about some big don'ts, okay, because that those are the more important things that we need to talk about. So supplementing your quail. We have gardens here um, at, at Colony Hills Farm, and if I let a zucchini or squash, cucumber, get too large you know if you have a garden you know that happens that one that was hidden up under and you look at that zucchini and it looks like a uh, gosh darn watermelon it's that big and that big <laughs> so there's not a lot i can do with that but my quail love zucchini squash cucumbers slice them in half put them in a quail cage here's a little tip Cut the rounded end flat and set it down. If not, they'll keep flipping it over, flipping it over. But they will haul the middle of that out. They won't normally eat the outside rind, but they'll haul the middle of that out. They really en seem to enjoy that. Um, pastas, you know, if you have leftover spaghetti, rice, you know, angel hair, uh, fettuccine, noodles, pasta, those, those type things, they love pastas. Those are grains, if you think about it. Uh, macaroni, that's, th th those are grains, they can have those. Um, let's talk about, my, my quail really love watermelon. Let's talk about the things that they don't like because really, that's, that's more important. Well, I'm gonna change that to they don't like, they can have. Never give your quail avocado. I love avocado and that's fine if I don't give it to my quail, means more for me. I love it. They cannot have avocado. They can have tomatoes, which is uh, um, not shade vine, 
they cannot have any nightshade vines. Leaves or vines from those plants, they cannot have. They can't have the tomato, the fruit, the vegetable. My quail don't prefer them. I've given them to them and, and they just kind of sit there. You don't want to give your quail anything sugary, salty, definitely not alcohol. Uh, don't, don't create alcohol abuse and, and give that to your quail. That's abusive. Don't do that. Uncooked potato. Never give that to your quail. Rhubarb comes to mind. Parsley. I know what parsley sounds very innocent. Don't give it to your quail. It's very poisonous. Chocolate. Caffeine. Do not give that to your quail. Do not give that to your quail. So, while a lot of people will treat their quail as pets and they have five, six, seven, ten, fifteen 10, 15 of them and they want to give them those treats, you just can't give them some things, guys, because these are wild birds. These are birds that um, have not developed a palate for chocolate. They're not able to handle that. So be sure that you take that in consideration. If you want to give them a calcium additive, which there's, there's plenty of calcium in the feed that I've mentioned, okay? This is the feed that I use. I'm not gonna, gonna you know, put the brand out there. I think people can figure that out on their own. This is not a sponsored ad, I, I have to say that. But if you want to give them a calcium additive, they certainly sell those at, at any of your feed stores. You know, they sell those at Tractor Supply. They sell them, um, you know, at, at all those places. At Woods. That's what I was trying to think of. But another way to give them that calcium additive is, I'm sure if you have quail, you eat quail eggs. I do. I love them. I hardly even buy chicken eggs anymore. So, you take... You hear that? Maybe you can't. That's my deer feeder going off in the back area back there. Yeah, I, I told y'all I was out in the country. So, get your, get your quail eggs. Put those quail eggs on a baking sheet. Put them in the oven. Put them on about 325, 350. Cook those eggs for about 15, 20 minutes. Get them out, let them cool. Crush those eggshells. One thing I found out about uh, heating them up in the oven is that they become very brittle and they'll crush up a lot easier. Crush those up. Then if you'd like, put them, put them, pour them all in a blender. Blend them up, circulate them. Get them to, not dust, but, but get them down and add those to your feed if you'd like. Perfect calcium additive. Put those eggshells in there um, and that's great. That's all, that's all you'll need. So what do I feed my quail? I told you. 28% chicks, 20% once they're mature. We talked about the things you can give them, things you can't give them. Calcium additives. You know, source your feed. You're going to need to do that. And um, enjoy the outdoors, guys. You never know how long you're going to get to continue out enjoying what God gives us. So I'd like to say thank you to all the supporters. I want to give a shout out to the troops that are abroad. We wish you all to come back as soon as you can. We know that you're serving a purpose for us. Thank you for our freedom. Thank you for everything that you do. God bless. See you again.